Hey, is Facade sleeping there? I don't know. Anyway, hello guys, we're Balk, uh, we, we're Balk, we're Balk with Model 3, yes we are, and you know, there's just something about the first 30 seconds of the video that makes me want to really talk weird, you know? So a couple of things I failed to explain in the last video, number one being that, um, when you take the dung back to this guy, well, so, when you take the dung back to that guy, you get experience for it, so that's one way of grinding, and it's a little bit faster than beating monsters, at first it is, but... When it gets to later, you know, you get later levels, it's not as easy. In a second, I'll show you just how much grinding I did, because it was a little more than I think was probably necessary, but I just, you know, figured what the hey. It really wouldn't matter if I took him all the way to level 99, because he's not a main party member. Salsa isn't, I mean, or he's not one of the, the main characters. You use him in this chapter, and then... You use them again for about like 30 seconds later in the game, and that's it, so... But what you can do if you want is come all the way to the left of the bottom of the desert and come up here, and there'll be this little area here, and there'll be dung balls here that you can pick up, and you can take those back to the to the guy by the oasis rather than fighting for them if you want to. Okay, well, this is what level I got to. Level 21. A little bit too much, if you ask me, but... It was, basically, I put on the movie Collateral, started grinding, and went all the way through the movie. See, we can actually beat these guys without even fighting them now. Okay, pass between the cacti goes to where the ant line was. And this up here goes... Wait. Running bomb, alright. And this goes to where the boss is. So, I do believe I've covered everything here. I don't know, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And that's bad, too, because usually it means I am. It's also got an Aquarius bracelet. Let's go ahead and equip that. Oh yeah. He doesn't have anything else to... Okay, whatever. Huh. Here's your boss. Oh. What the hell? A dog with a cactus on his head. How weird is that? Listen, monkey. That's a cactus wolf. The meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose and I'll have an extra serving of punishment rate just for you. Oh. Well, that's not fair. Don't you think if I lost, I'd already be hurting enough? Jeez. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, I know what else I forgot to tell you about. is monkey tricks. That's a salsa's special little thing he does. Which, um, apologize and dance, basically. will stall him for a few rounds, maybe. Like, you could do a dance and... Whoa! Salsa speed increased by 55. Uh... I didn't know it did that. I've never seen it do that. Usually it distracts the enemy. Defense increased by 5. Huh. What else can that do? I'll try it again. No visible effect. Huh. Well, usually what, what'll happen is the enemy will start cheering, and that's... Like, okay, apologize, you can do that one. Salsa's feelings didn't get through to the cactus. Well, I didn't think they would. I mean, it's a boss, after all. Facade pushed Salsa out in front of himself. Yeah, I know, I'm stalling. Monkey Mimic is probably the most useful one here. Because what it'll do is when he attacks you, you'll turn around and do the same thing back to him. Aha, uh -huh. I did more damage than you did. And then make laugh is... That's the one that stalls him. Yeah, Cactus Wolf is cheering now. Now he'll stop attacking for a while. So, what kind of goods do we got here? Running bombs, beef jerkies, nut breads, but we're okay. Huh. Dang it. Oh, he lost interest. Yeah, I guess he would, because I stopped dancing, like, a long time ago. Ooh, man, I lagged there for a second. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, gee, that was easy. Never seen him go down that fast. He sure didn't go down that fast last time. 143 experience points. We got the beef jerky. <clears throat> okay. Awesome. Gonna open the door. Get in, you. I'm going, I'm going. Hey, stop that now. You just watch yourself. So we come down the elevator. Now we're in the orchid station. Let's see. We got a present here. Present! Bug spray. Oh, and how convenient, there's a bug here. Look at that thing. <laughs> what 
Well, I was gonna use the bug spray on him. I guess we just stomp him instead. That works. Who the hell uses bug spray to kill a roach anyway? Uh. Okay, sometimes you'll see a blue present here. Those are special presents in an underground map. They always contain maps, so that's basically it. Wait a minute. Something's here. Hey, stupid monkey, look here. What? Well, I looked at you! <laughs> mm. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tasmanly. It will take an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a nwee <laughs> You get all that? Yeah. Use that ladder to get down there. No, I'm gonna go get the presents first. This is the wonderful revive. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> take a deep breath. <sighs> Okay, this is a wonderful device called an instant revitalizing machine. In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you. Under normal circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you. But I'll give you special permission to use it for now. Thank you. Well, maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Nope, I'm not about to say that just yet. No. I don't even know, really. You're fully revitalized. Let's also open the present. Got some jerky. whoop de doo What do we got over here? Ancient banana, but I can't carry any more stuff. Oh, well. Too bad. Uh, oh, we gotta go down the ladder. Yeah. Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. What? Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. Actually, you just push it once and you get out anyway. You get all that? Yeah. Then get in. Okay. Get in the pork bean? Sure. You know, you think if it was a pork bean, it would be a different color. This music is scary. And I know it's like the pig masks music and everything, you can't go this way. But it's like all dissonant and weird. Basically when you're pork bean, you can run over monsters. You don't have to fight them. You can try if you want, but it's not worth the time. I don't think it is anyway. Yeah, we're really cruising along now. I mean, who knew all these tunnels were down here like this? What the heck? When did this happen? Didn't anybody ever come down here and see? Whoa, wow. What's down here? I think we might have a look around. We got some tanks here. This is one of the pig's vehicles. Probably best not to touch it. Yeah, kind of got that impression. What do we got here? Chick bandana, but I can't carry any more stuff. Damn it. Got a chick bandana. Nut bread. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that. Yep. Alright. I can't believe that earlier, that speed increased by 55. I didn't know I was gonna go by that much. Actually, his speed was only like, what, like 30 something to begin with. Yeah, this thing won't actually stop until you push a different direction, so you can just push left and then let go. Okay, we'll park here. Man, we're running out of time really fast here. Bug spray. What's the sign say? Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. Oh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Got a running bomb. Gee, could you make it any more obvious? Okay, we know how to combat this music, so I'm just gonna do that right there. Oh, yeah. Ew. Huh. Yeah, just keep trying. My is level 21. You can't take him. Oh! That's a rare thing for Facade to do there. He'll throw a bomb sometimes. And it is really powerful. <laughs> Mosquito charm. I got me a Skeeter charm. Okay, let's equip it then. Yeah. Oh, look where we turned up. Cemetery, how about that? Didn't expect that. Not even now. To the south of this cemetery is a village. There's a place there called the Yato Inn where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Okay. Oh, but look out. Here come the zombies. Best to avoid them. Yeah, so we head on down here. <coughs> What's this guy doing? Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, to you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Actually, I was just counting to see how much is in here. No, ha ha ha! Just please be extra careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. Oh, you manipulating bastard, you. Whoa, it's Duster. Oh, pardon me. 
Uh, sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Look familiar? Yeah, this is happening at the same time as Chapter 2, apparently. So now we know what's going on with the monkey here. Alright then. Well... Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money! There's money inside! Ever heard of money? Oh, I gotta stop! Oh, almost... Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna keep going. What, you don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tad's Millie before. But apparently an era of money's about to start, huh? On a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. We heard this already. Just now we know that this is what happened here. And when he hid it in the well, apparently Facade was listening in, so... Hmm. Duster, the secret is just between you and me. Well, it's not anymore! I'll see you next time.